Game pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high. You ain't see me slack. I'm a star. How you fall? Tell you get right back. Go. What up, it's your boy Incredible, and this is The Devil is a Part-Timer, Season 2, Episode 2. Let's dive straight into it, see what's popping off. Oh, the baby. I forgot about the baby. <laughs> well, how, how am I your father? Girl, I am not your mother. You better quit that. Look at everybody's face. <laughs> no, don't look at me like <laughs> Yeah, she got an ulterior motive. Oh, uh, look at this. Look at this nut. Look at this nut. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm in love, man. I'm in love. I honestly, like, like I said in the last episode, man, I clearly know that the chick had to come from that flower when um old girl stole like the essence from the flower inside the demon lord's castle and then sun it through the little rift or whatever so that's what a little girl has to come from right but what is their purpose for saying that she's their daughter what what is this chick planning with the baby I don't know. I will say this. It'll probably make a great story, though, man, because I'm I'm super interested now. Like, where did this baby come from? Who is she? What's her purpose? Let's get it. Episode two, the devil and the hero inconceivably are parents or something. I don't know. It, it went back out of fast. Right? Right. Okay, that makes sense. Right, who's going to take care of her? Yeah, we don't have the budget. <laughs> We're struggling, man. <laughs> Ah, good job. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but... Well, yeah, I mean, we knew she liked him. <laughs> but it's different. It's it's a different kind of relationship. <laughs> oh well, you just you just don't know, girl. It's so much more. So she bought a lot of stuff. Why he looks so drained? Oh, I forgot about dealing with the baby. What make you tired? <laughs> Where's mama? <laughs> That's true. You have to see which one works the best. She bought a sippy cup. Oh, he about to tear up because they didn't have the money to do it. <laughs> I give you the highest position. <laughs> Well, you're not gonna, you gotta be more assertive. <laughs> I won't thank you. <laughs> you parasite, you don't get nothing. <laughs> Oh, crap. Oh, uh, you just don't understand the half of it. I got a mysterious baby out of all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> you just blurted it out now. <laughs> Does she need her diaper change? Hi, okay. <laughs> it was so awesome. That was awesome. I admit. <laughs> I guess that I did. I guess it did. <laughs> She she is such a she's kawaii.
<laughs> yeah, you ran to go at <laughs> Well, because she's a little kid. Yeah, you can't get too attached. She just happened to have amusement park tickets in her uh, locker. Oh, no, they did not break her to work. What are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you bring her here? <laughs> Stop saying that. Stop it. <laughs> she did call her papa. <laughs> we didn't think this through, did we? No, you did not. <laughs> this fool is so stupid. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, yeah, the optics aren't great. And she spilled a demon world. This is a lot to take in because you got to look at the optics of it. I am not her papa. Yeah, because he doesn't know is actually is exactly what to do. Right, he's the only one that you can actually trust that knows the secret of everything. But that means a lot to her. So this animation is a queen, man. So that animation is clean. That is so cute when she says that melts my little heart. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, I don't believe that. How did, how did they end up with six tickets? No, she has to come. Uh-oh. Kids might get in free. I don't know. Girl, he ain't done any funny business in a minute. She was sacrificing her time with Malcolm. That's big ups on her, man. She can't even say she can't even say it. <laughs> She could be something entirely different. <laughs> come down, come down. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> You ain't done nothing to begin with anyway. <laughs> Jungle Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Dude, this episode is a blast as well, man. Nice. So he had an attachment to his bike. I love it. This this has been a blast, and this is only the second episode. Look, somebody's there. That's the chick. She done something. The moon thing appeared so the chick is there <laughs> look at Chicha she just looks so serious <laughs> I knew it <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
She did. She pulled out all the stops. Has she forgotten she's a hero? <laughs> What about your job? <laughs> what will y'all do? <laughs> Are those the angels? Wait, could the little girl, Al Al Almas, Ramus, or whatever, come from the tree of life? Oh, Lucifer felt the presence of the gate. Oh, it would go over right there at that moment. Son, thanks for finna get interesting because this episode was happy go lucky. That was uh, The Devil is a Part Timer, season two, episode two. And the episode was just uh, just gathering, if you will. Man, we're, we're finally starting to see that everybody's accepted the fact that Alice Ramis, or however you want to say it, has been a part of their lives and that, you know, <laughs> Mal and um, Yusa are, or Amelia are the parents. They're just accepting that right now. Even though that they know that they're not literally the parents, they decided to take on that role. And that's what this episode was. And we also see that Chi-Chan is still dealing with, you know, the after effects of Mal not really giving her definitive answer about them furthering their relationship alone. And her friends telling her, you know, to take that extra step forward. But she's not quite ready because there's a lot of different circumstances going on at this time because this little girl disappeared up out of nowhere and then having to deal with that. We also see that the chick that created this little girl is following Mal Malson around town as well. This is the first time she's appeared though. We haven't seen her ever since, you know, I think that the very beginning of, well, it's only been two episodes since that one part in the first episode, but she's assuming to be following them. And she made the little moon symbol glow on the little girl's head. So now we're taking into the fact yet again, what is this little girl? And then we see, I'm assuming some angels or something dealing with the tree of life. And the tree looks like it's decimated, like it's rotten or whatever. And then we have this little girl that appeared in an apple form. So I'm assuming the little girl might be part of the tree of life. And that chick sent her and her essence or whatever, or combined it with the tree of life and sent her to Malson and Amelia because she knew that they would protect her regardless. You know what I'm saying? Because she doesn't want to give him to I'm assuming I'm assuming they may be angels I'm not totally sure I didn't see any wings or anything like that but there's something and they probably want the little girl and she sent it to Mal and Amelia to protect them and it's nice because Lucifer also realized that a gate opened up somewhere and I'm sure he's not going to be the only one that realizes this so there's a lot of stuff going on and this episode was more relaxation and comedy and I feel like next week we're going to dive into some stuff because they ended up going to a theme park and these people are coming to look for them. This is your boy, Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe. But only if you really want to remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life. Peace out. Today, yeah, I